In this video, you're, you're going to learn how to solve Newton's second law problems that include friction. Um, before we start, a couple of equations I want to review, which is Newton's second law. So Newton's second law can be written in several ways. One is to say that the acceleration is equal to the net force divided by the mass. To me, this makes the most sense because as you increase the net force, you're going to increase the acceleration. As you increase the mass, you're going to decrease the acceleration. Um, so conceptually, I think this makes a lot of sense, at least when you're starting to learn about it. Um, these are kind of the cause. You can change these. If you change these, this is like the effect. Now, when you solve a problem, sometimes it's easier to solve it writing it this way. Um, but mathematically, these are equivalent. Um, you should also know how to calculate the gravitational force, also known as weight, uh, which is mass times g, which is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Uh, you should also know uh, kinetic friction. The equation for kinetic friction is mu uh, times Fn. Mu uh, stands for the coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction depends on uh, the type of surfaces that are in contact with each other, um, and Fn is the normal force. All right, so here's our first problem. A 10-kilogram box is being pushed across a horizontal surface. The force applied to the box is 60 newtons, and it causes the box to accelerate at 2 meters per second, assuming the force of kinetic friction is the only other horizontal force acting on the box. Determine the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the surface. Okay, so just to be clear, kinetic friction is when the object is sliding and is moving relative to the surface. Uh, static friction would be if I'm pushing on it and it's not moving, that would be static friction. Once it starts moving, we call that kinetic friction. We're going to start with a free body diagram, also known as a force diagram. I'm going to uh, first draw the applied force. And then we have gravitational force going straight down. Normal force is the force of the uh, surface pushing up on the box. So this is Fn. And then we also have uh, Fk for friction. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to start with Newton's second law. Net force equals ma and uh, for the net force if you yeah, have forces opposite direction we're going to subtract them but now we got to decide what direction do you want to make positive uh, i'm going to make right positive and up positive it's arbitrary you can make the other direction positive if you like um, but i tend to on a problems like this i like to tend to make the direction of the force the force that has the bigger force i like to make that direction positive um, so i'm going to take fa so the force going to the right minus the force going to the left. Now, just to remind you, Fk is equal to mu times Fn. So I can do Fa is equal to, uh, sorry, Fa minus, okay, force on the right minus force on the left, which is mu Fn. So force of the applied minus the uh, friction force, which is mu times Fn equals Fa. And I'm looking for mu, so I want to isolate it by itself. So mu Fn move that to the right, move MA to the left, so I have FA minus MA, I'm going to flip the whole thing, so I have FA minus MA, and then uh, mu is going to equal FA minus MA divided by, so we need to know FN. So what is FN equal to? Well, FN, there's it's not accelerating up or down, so these two forces are actually equal in opposite direction. So if I know FG, I know FN. So FG, remember, is the mass times 9.8. And the mass, they told us, is 10 kilograms times 9.8, and we get 980 newtons. So that is the gravitational force. That is the gravitational force. That is the weight of the box. Okay. The normal force is also 980 as well. Because it's not accelerating, the forces are balanced vertically. So now I'm going to uh, substitute. So mu is equal to Fa, uh, which they told us is 60. Let me go ahead and write 60 newtons right there is 60. Okay, so it's going to be 60 minus the mass. They told us the mass is 2 kilograms right there. So uh, sorry, 10 kilograms, so 10. And the acceleration is 2. That was also given right there. Divided by Fn. And Fn, we have that in our force diagram is 980. Okay, so 60 minus, this is going to be 20, and all that divided by 980, and we get 0 0.041 uh, 
Uh, and this number does not have units. So uh, coefficient of friction is, is a ratio. And so uh, this is one of those rare numbers, not rare, but one of the uh, not uh, one of the numbers in physics that you don't see as often where you don't have units. All right, let's take a look at our second question here. A 15 kilogram crate is being pulled across a rough horizontal floor with a constant horizontal force of 100 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the floor is 0.25. What is the acceleration of the crate? Okay, so we're going to start again with our force diagram. We have an applied force. The applied force is 100 newtons. We have a gravitational force, mg. We have our normal force, and these two we know are balanced. And then we also have our kinetic friction, which is equal to mu uh, fn, mu fn. Okay, so we're looking for acceleration this time. I'm going to write our newton second law this way, because so we're looking for acceleration. So I'm just going to write acceleration equals the net force divided by the mass. All right, so the net force is going to be uh, the force in the positive direction. Remember, we're making right positive, left negative, so the force to the right minus the force to the left, which is kinetic friction, or you could write uh, mu times Fn divided by the mass. So now we're going to go ahead and substitute. Fa is 100. Mu is 0.25. Now Fn is equal to Fg. And remember, this is uh, 15 times 9.8. And we get 147 newtons. So that means the normal force is also 147 newtons. Uh, so that's going to go right here, 147 for the normal force. And the mass, they told us in the problem, it's 15 kilograms. All right, if we calculate that, we get 4.2 meters per second squared. All right, let's take a look at another question. And this question is a little different because this question, we're looking for the applied force. Now look for the applied force here. A 20 kilogram sled is pulled across a flat icy sur uh, surface with a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.15. The sled accelerates at 1.5 meters per second squared. What is the magnitude of the applied force required to achieve this acceleration? Okay, so um, once again, we're going to do our force diagram here. We have Fg, we have Fn, and we know these are going to be uh, balanced because they're not accelerating vertically. We have a force to the right, which is what we're looking for. We have a force here to the left, which is our kinetic friction, which is equal to mu times Fn. So we're going to uh, start with our Newton's second law, net force equals ma. Uh, we're going to go uh, force going towards the positive direction, right, minus the force to the left, uh, which is going to be mu times Fn is equal to and we're looking for FA, so I'm going to move everything to the right here, except for FA is equal to MA plus mu times FA. Okay. So M is 20 uh, kilograms. That's given there. Acceleration is given 1.5 plus mu is also given 0.15. And then now the normal force. We've got to calculate that. So FG is equal to MG. Mass is 20, so times 9.8. And we get 196 newtons. We're going to use that for the normal force, 196 newtons. And that goes over here, 196 newtons. Okay, so we calculate that. We get 59 newtons. It's rounded, 59 newtons. And that's the applied force. So that's the applied force needed uh, in order to accelerate this box, uh, 1.5 meters per second squared of acceleration. Okay, based on uh, this amount of friction, coefficient of friction. All right, uh, now we're going to take a look at a Newton's second law problem that also requires some kinematic calculation as well. A 25 kilogram cart is being pushed across a rough surface with a constant force of 120 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the cart and the surface is 0.2. What is the acceleration of the cart? So we're going to start with our with calculating acceleration. So here's our force diagram, applied force to the right, Fg, gravitational force down, 
a normal force up. We have our kinetic friction, which remember is equal to mu times F, Fn. Okay, so um, we're looking for the acceleration. So I'm going to use this equation here. Acceleration equals net force divided by L. And we know that the net force is force in the positive minus force in the negative direction. So force to the right minus force to the left. And remember, I could have made left positive. If I make left positive, then the force to the left minus the force minus the force on the right. So it is arbitrary, but you have to stick with it. Okay, all that all that divided by m. The applied force they told us is 120. It was in the problem, so 120 minus mu is 0.2. Fn is normal force. We got to calculate the weight first, so it's 20, uh, which is mg. So we have 25 times 9.8. And we get 245 newtons. All right. So the normal force is also 245 newtons. And I'm going to, need to uh, substitute that right here. The mass is 25 kilograms. That is given right there. Okay. So then um, once I do that calculation, I get 2.84 meters per second squared. Go ahead and box that. That's part A. Part B, they want to know uh, if the car starts from rest, what will its final speed be after six seconds? So this is a kinematic equation. I'm going to use V final equals V initial plus A T. So initial is zero, starts from rest, plus 2.84 times six seconds, six seconds. And we get 17 meters per second. 